Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. So a few months ago, Apple introduced their new AirTags. If you haven't heard of AirTags before, they're essentially tiny little trackers that you can attach to things like your keys, your wallet, or the Russian spy you're currently tracking, and they'll allow you to find those items on your phone anywhere in the world. What makes this technology better than other trackers we've seen before though, is that they can work using a technology called UWB which allows you to locate items within three centimeters or 0.1 of a foot. So if you're someone that regularly loses things within your own home, you'll be able to track them down easily playing a fun game of hot or colder with your iPhone. Perhaps more interestingly, for the first time in history, Apple actually offered something for free. It turns out you can have a soulless machine lovingly engrave your initials on your new AirTag, just in case you forget your name or have an identity crisis. Of course, what you won't be able to do is pick the font, the spicy emoji, or a number over 50 for some reason. Perhaps for the same reason that Apple doesn't want to show you the number 69 in their weather app. Anyway, we digress. So I didn't get some of these when they first released because I wanted to wait until there was more choice of accessories for them. Whilst they look pretty sturdy, the reality is that without a decent case to attach these AirTags to, they're actually pretty useless. If you've so much as looked at your AirTag, congratulations, it's already covered in scratches. So in this video, I wanted to give you my opinion on the best AirTag cases and accessories from a design perspective. Some of you are probably going to be wondering, why not just buy Apple's leather AirTag case? Well, there's a really obvious reason for that. I personally don't want to pay £35 for a case for a product that costs £30. Not to mention, I don't actually like the design of the Apple AirTag keyrings. Now you can also go for a super cheap case option, but the reality is most of these plastic creations over time will show all the solidity of a well dunked biscuit. So no, I won't be buying a case for $2 either. So with that in mind, all of these accessories that I'm about to recommend are cheaper than the Apple cases while still exhibiting really strong design credentials. So let's get into it. First up, we have the black camo grip case from D brand. This grip case sells for £14 or $20. One thing to note with this one is that if you're based outside North America, then you'll need to consider the shipping cost, which could cost anywhere between $5 to $10 depending on the size of your order. True to its name, the grip case features thousands of microscopic ridges, each with a textured dot spanning the surface of the case. You can then select your main skin material of choice from a range of 3M advanced materials, everything from leather, carbon, and even titanium. I went for the black camo option, as you can see here, which I think looks pretty stealth. Whichever option you choose though, from a company like D Brand, you know you're gonna get decent quality. Overall, I've been really impressed though with the D Brand case, and its rubberized structure means I've personally been pretty comfortable chucking it around everywhere and not being too worried about it getting damaged, which is definitely something to think about if you're using air tags with your keys. So if maximum protection is the case you want, then definitely check out D Brand. Next up, we've got the Slate Black Impact Case from Roxlin, which costs around £24 or $30. It's described as classic and discreet on the Roxlin website, and it really is. If you haven't heard of Roxlin, they're a Berlin-based design company specializing in stone, and they also make some of the best minimal accessories for tech. This AirTag case is no exception. Each one is handcrafted and made to order, carved from stone making each one unique. They actually offer two different models, the Lifestyle and the Adventurer. And I went for the Lifestyle version, which I've got here, which is intended more for aesthetics than protection. Aesthetically though, this case is truly stunning and genuinely a really unique design. It's easily my favorite visually to look at and the thought that Roxlin put into their packaging and unboxing experience tells me that this is a company that cares deeply about the small details. In stark contrast to the D brand skin though, out of all the options on this list, this is the one that I'd be most concerned getting damaged. The slate front is just so beautiful, but much more likely than something like rubber to get damaged. That being said, you do also get a spare slate cover in the box, and the rest of the case looks pretty protection heavy. If design is your thing, then this is the one to go for. The next case is from Casetify, and if customization is your bag, then this holder for £24 or $30 is probably the one for you. Made from recycled and composite materials, this case also has a big focus on the environment. I've got the licorice version here and I've also customized it with black Thoughts on Things logo on the front, which I think looks really clean and minimal. One of the nice things about the Casetify option is that it comes with a carabiner, 
which is actually really high quality and makes it easier to attach things versus a standard keyring. I've noticed though that sometimes the carabiner can be a bit of a challenge to attach to certain things with a tighter hole. For example, it doesn't attach to my car keys as you can see here, but that could be easily fixed by a secondary ring. Anyway, the case itself seems very durable apart from one side being exposed. For that reason, I think this case is probably going to work better as something you attach to your backpack rather than one you attach to your keyring. A slightly different option next from Crazy Horse Craft, sold by Mukama, is this carbon black leather case again for around £25 or $30. Crafted from genuine Italian leather, this case will age beautifully over time and it's available in black or brown and also as a choice of leather or felt to suit your style. It also has a strong fabric cord which is a slightly different vibe from the keyring or carabiner options that we've seen in some of the other cases and of all of the options this is definitely the simplest in terms of design. Leather is a really good natural protector and the air tag itself is actually completely enclosed within the case unlike the other cases so it's one that would work brilliantly being attached to some luggage or on your rucksack. One of the things I was slightly concerned with about the leather case is whether there would be any drop in signal quality, but I'm really pleased to report that it doesn't seem to affect the functionality at all, which is great. I'm a big fan of this case, so check it out if you're looking for a traditional and understated leather option. Finally, the last accessory I wanted to share with you guys is this dog collar from Follow Paw. Another sustainable option here being made from 100% vegan premium cork leather, but this time for your four pawed friend. Not only is this collar fully waterproof, but it's also bite proof as well. So just in case your little canine friend wants to sharpen his teeth on it, you'll be safe knowing it's protected. It comes in two color options, natural or black, as well as multiple size options to cover even the chubbiest of necks. One feature I really like about this dog collar is the magnetic clasp. You get the feeling that so much thought has been put into the design of this collar and the AirTag has its own specialized anti-slip pocket to slot into so it won't fall out when your dog runs, jumps or spins. I haven't seen any other dog collars I've liked yet that are specifically designed for air tags, so this is the one I'd recommend if you're looking into it. So guys, those are just some of my top picks for AirTag accessories with quality design. I really hope it was useful and I hope you end up spending an extortionate amount of money on making your new AirTags look class. Remember to subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed the video and let me know if you have any other good suggestions of brands in the comments so we can share the love. Thanks again for watching and see you guys next time.